All trees are the same, but not all trees are the same. In India and in Japan, there is a particular kind of tree, and it is sandalwood. Sandalwood is fragrant. Yung mga lola natin, ang dati nilang sabon, Eno de Pravia. That is sandalwood scent. And uh, my grandmother used to have sawdust of sandalwood wrapped in kacha and put into the corners of our clothes cabinet in order to keep the cabinet fragrant. Sandalwood. There is something particular about the sandalwood. And what is it? You strike the tree, you axe the tree, you saw the tree, and the sea, the, the saw, the axe, or the bolo, or the knife, becomes fragrant. And even if you wash the axe with soap and water, the fragrance remains. So what I want to say is, the sandalwood is a different kind of tree because it leaves a fragrance on the axe that hurts it. The sandalwood is a different kind of tree because it makes fragrant the saw, the bolo, the blade that hurts it. Some trees give out sap when you hurt the trunk. But the sap is sticky. But the sandalwood, it also gives out a sap when you hurt. But the blade becomes fragrant, even if the blade has hurt the sandalwood. The fragrance of the sandalwood is the forgiveness that Jesus gives. Jesus has been offended. We have sinned against the Lord. And the revenge of God is called mercy. God returns the sin to us by mercy and compassion. As the responsorial psalm aptly said, The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful not when we are kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful when we are in darkness, when we have turned around, when we have turned against Him, when we have hurt Him, when we have slapped Him. That is the test of the Lord's kindness. The mark of the Lord is that the Lord is forgiving. Like sandalwood leaving a fragrance on the axe that hurts it. We have hurt the Lord. But instead of making us foul-smelling, we have hurt the Lord. But instead of making us ugly because of sin, the Lord has made us beautiful, touched us, and gave us fragrance. And the fragrance is forgiveness. The fragrance is freshness. The fragrance is new life. Forgiveness is the essence of our faith. Without forgiveness, there is no worship. Without forgiveness, there can be no real worship. Because all worship requires all worshipers to first forgive those who have wronged us before offering your gifts on the altar. There is no amount of offering that can wipe away your unforgiveness against those who have offended you. There, if there is no forgiveness, there can be no real worship. Without forgiveness, there can be no real love. How we wish those we love will never hurt us. How we wish in a love relationship 
like friendship or marriage, we will never hurt one another. But you can ask golden, silver jubilarian couples, and they will tell you that what they celebrate is not 50 years of happy marriage, but 50 years of forgiving each other. In other words, love requires the, fer the fertilizer of forgiveness. Love cannot grow, love cannot bloom, love cannot bear fruit unless it is nurtured by forgiveness. Without forgiveness, there is no worship. Without forgiveness, there is no love. And without forgiveness, there is no future. Because we have hurt one another, and we will continue to hurt one another, the world will come to an end when we stop forgiving one another. There is no future if we will refuse to forgive. Now, let us ask the Lord for that grace. We know that all of us need forgiveness, but not all of us are willing to accept the need to forgive one another. We have said it, but we have said it perhaps not taking it to our hearts. But each time we pray, we say, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If we are not, for, if we are not willing to forgive those who have offended us, who have hurt us, there is no real prayer, there is no real worship, you are not a loving person, and there is no future for you because Future belongs to those who are forgiving. Love is, the, is proven by those who are forgiving. And worship is proven by those who forgive before they offer to the altar of the Lord. Lord, forgive us. And as you have forgiven us, make us ready to forgive.